ahead and share it out, assuming it's, there we go, now it's live. Oh, not yet. If you're ever wondering what I'm doing when I come on, and this is what's happening, I'm coming on here to like share stuff out. That's what I'm doing, because like, some people are like, does she know she's live? I do. <laughs> I'm just making sure to share it all out. Because I have like my page, and then of course there's the group. So I make sure to share it out when I start. And then I also share it to my own like wig page, which isn't like super important, but yeah. Hi, Kay. There we go. Alrighty. Then I keep my phone there so I can make sure it's like functioning correctly. All right. So when you get on, say hi. And oh. hi, Luann. All right. So today I'm going to be doing the Renee of Paris. This is going to be the Muse collection. I know Shirley showed a couple of them. I have um, more of them. I guess all the colors and a couple like another style to show the other colors that also come. How am I doing? I'm all right. I've been sick, like, with some sort of stomach bug, and I was throwing up for, like, two days, and then wasn't able to eat until last night, so that's why I couldn't do the live last night, because I was, like, out of commission. <laughs> but I feel all right right now. I'm just going to see how this goes. I definitely will show all the Muse stuff, and if I still feel okay, I'll show, like, Lux or something, if somebody wants to see that. Thank you for asking. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Liz. First time watching you. Oh, thank you, Liz. Yeah, it's okay, Kay. It's all right. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Marlene. I want to say that I did buy a wig from Win uh, Shirley's, uh, what was it, Wig Out Wednesday, I believe. And it actually showed up. I was going to show it yesterday, but it actually showed up, like, on Friday. So I already have her right here, super fast shipping, just FYI. And she's got these cute little cards that she hadn't had them before, but I see that she's got them now with all the information for the store. That's so cute. Such a great touch. Oh, thank you, Luann. Yep. All right, guys. So you're probably wondering what I'm wearing now. This is, I actually really love this style. This is called Lux Sleek, and this is in Lunar Haze. And I put a headband on to show that, like, you can easily style her and tuck her because it's super, super cute. Like, I was thinking I was going to like the super long ones the most, but I put this on. And I was like, oh, wow, that's, in that's very flattering. So, so pretty. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Terry. Love those. Can't wait to see what you got. Or, uh, yeah. No, I got all of the styles. I have Lux Sleek, Cosmo Sleek, Allure Waves. This is the interesting name, the Panache Waves and Lavish Waves, which is to show the two green colors that didn't come in those for whatever reason. Shirley's awesome. Yeah, I, I agree, Kristen, 100%. All right, well, I usually come on about five minutes before so I can get started and then immediately start at seven. So here we go. <laughs> I want to see the one you purchased at, oh, at Shirley's Live? Oh, yes, Marlene. Yeah, I got the Aesthetica um, Haven, and I got her in the, I already took the tag off, <laughs> hold on. The numbers is uh, R30 slash 28 slash 26. She's super pretty. She's part of the monofilament collection. I know this isn't Renee of Paris, but, so it's the monofilament, open wash, you know, the Aesthetica cap, Marlene. But it's super pretty. Here, I will take this off real quick. Let me show this, and then I'll put that one on. Yes, Shirley just posted new arrivals. So you can see the Muse collection, so it'll be coming right up. The only one that doesn't show up in the lineup would be Lavish Waves, but I know that if you just search um, Muse collection, it comes up also. Like, oink, all of them, because there's like 10, 12 styles, I think, total in the Muse collection now. Hi, Deborah. Happy Sunday. 
Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Yes, Haven is one of my favorites. Yes, Marlene. Yeah, no, I couldn't stop thinking about her. And when Shirley put out the um, the announcement, I was like, that's the Haven. And I was like, that's the one that I had. And I was like, oh, I can't, I just can't stop thinking about it. There's certain wigs, which is so funny. When I did the, um, my 2023, like, uh, favorites, I should have added in, like, um, what is it, honorable mentions, ones that were sent to me that I had to send back that were super popular to me where I can't stop thinking about them. Haven was one of them. Of course, there was the Verona because I really loved that. But I also can't stop thinking about the Noriko Sky that was in Midnight Pearl and then the uh, Zeal that was in Marble Brown or no, Sable Brown. I can't stop thinking about them. So I'm like, I'm going to have to order those because... <laughs> Hi, Karen! J.E. Kaler. Okay, Allison, just just here. This is, oh, this right here. This is Lux Sleek by the new Renee of Paris Muse Collection, and this is in the color Lunar Haze. So I put a headband on her, and this is one you can get from Shirley's. It's a Headbands of Hope. This is the Pewter Rush headband. So I showed that you can put it on. Super cute. You can tuck the side, and you can actually tuck behind the ear with there not being too much bulk of the hair. Uh, Terry says, I ordered two wigs yesterday. Wish me luck to be brave enough to wear. Oh, I believe in you, Terry. Just post pictures in the, um, you've been here, or, yeah, you've been here before, you've been here before kid group, and everyone will give you, like, lots of positive feedback, I swear. It's so great. This group of ladies is amazing. Vicky says, hope everyone is having a great Sunday. Love it, styled with the headband. Thank you, Marlene. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the headband. It's got these lovely pieces here. Like, it's the feathering and the swoop is what does it for me. It's so, so pretty. So let me go ahead and take her off for you. I didn't have time to, like, shave my head because I've been sick. And we also, um, our hot water decided to crap out on us. Thanks to it being, like, uh, 10 degrees at night. So... Even though it's a tankless water heater, that's it's they for some reason put it outside. So can't really take care of that right now. Okay, so it has a left-sided lace part and a lace front also. And then it's open wafted, has a velvet extended nape here, and they have the pull type adjusters. So this is the Lunar Haze color, and I will show her up close. Alright, so she's got, I'd say it's a black to off black, probably like a 1B. Um, on the root here and then it is just the prettiest it's like a periwinkle silvery gray color it has and I'll show the um the frozen sapphire next to it so you can see that this one is definitely purple in case it's coming off a little bit blue so she's super pretty there is some permatease but it's definitely not as heavy as say like Noriko or anything like that and I mean look at this it is just so so pretty it's gorgeous all right, so I'll put that on for you real quick, Marlene. This one, I don't want to wear it with this. You say, here's the little bit of hair that grows back on me. If you've ever wondered how much actually grows back, it's not much. <laughs> okay, so this is Haven, and she's super, super cute. And I love this red color. This is the R... Of course, I'm not going to remember. R30, 28, 26. She's above the shoulder, super, super easy to wear. Very comfortable because of the monofilament. You can part anywhere. And I just love this, like, red color that's like a copper that's very natural. It gives, like, true redhead, which is what I really like. And it does come where the curls are a bit more compact when you first get it. But when you brush it out, it will... Um, loosen them a bit but if you were to get it wet again or wash it or just even just spraying it it the they'll bounce back if you really want like the more springy curls you love it Oni? oh thank you marlene let's see oh i missed a couple people hi andy oh gail thank hi thank you for sharing today is chief's game with buffalo and my birthday so i may be in and out go chiefs Happy birthday, Gail, and thanks for stopping in on your birthday. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, too. If, yeah, if you guys haven't shared, please do. Hi, Phelan. Hi, Anne. What style is this one? This is uh, Haven by Aesthetica. I am showing the Muse, but I was showing Marlene this one. 
You love this one, Kimberly? Oh, thank you. Yeah, she's, I really love her. She's even long enough that if you really wanted to, like, pin or clip her back, you could. Just enough. Like, you can see there's just a little bit here. So it's really not too much at all. That is cute style. Looks cute on you. Oh, thank you, Phelan. Hi, Vicki. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. This is the regular uh, Milano Collection Ultimate Comfort Grip Cap. You can see it pretty well. Works when it's not mirrored because then you can read this stuff too. Yeah, when I don't um, take care of the little bit of hair that I do get, I wear this because it's, I, get, I don't know what part is the hygienic reason, whether it be the hair or the, the skin, I'm not sure. But I cover it more if there's hair because I feel like that's probably the hygienic problem. All right, so moving on to the next one. This is a color that Shirley didn't have to show. And I have to say, this is super pretty. This is the color Dark Chocolate in, in Lux Sleek. I was going to say something that wasn't right, <laughs> like blending it together. So this is a very interesting color because it is neutral looking when you look at it. But it's got where there's some like rich highlights in it. And there's also some cool highlights in it where the base, I think, is what is cool. And then the highlights are like a kind of like a rich chocolate brown. It's the color for like rich chocolate. The naming of it is perfect. You can see the beautiful feathering in here. It's just amazing. It really is so pretty. All right. So same as before. Lace front, left-sided lace part, extended velvet nape, open wefted, and pull type adjusters. Yeah, that's the only issue when I have one of these on. <laughs> See, she's just like a super pretty brown, super dark brown, but very pretty. And because it's got that little bit of warmth, I can wear it. It's like, that's, I feel like it's super hard to, for me in particular, to find a dark brown like this to be able to wear. Like, it's so pretty. Like, look at the feathering and everything. Oh, it's gorgeous. I agree, Marlene. It is a gorgeous brunette. Here is the lace front. And of course, I've got the cap on. Oops, I didn't pick up those hairs. So there you go. Full lace front across the front. I move the tag out the way for you guys so you can get the like whole experience of the wig all right there we go so so pretty thank you Kay thank you Marlene yes no I agree this color is really really pretty I thought it was gonna be too dark but I don't I don't think it is I think it's really pretty lace is done beautifully even on such a dark color yes no I agree I oh there we go it's trying to take a ride on me there we go. I got stuck to the velvet on the nape. Not the hair, in case you're wondering. Yeah, I was going to show you up front on the lace. So you can see how good that is. Stop focusing on me. Yeah. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. I thought it focused for a second. All right, so the next one that I have in this style, which is still the uh, Lux Sleek, is Dusty Rose. And this, I think, is a really interesting color. So this color, I know it says rose, but to me, the way I would describe this color is a muted orange, pinkish red color. And, of course, it's got a root here, which is, I'd say, a medium brown. And so it's this really interesting color that if you like orange, you like peach, you like pink, and you like red, you'll probably like this color. It's very, very warm. Think of like, you know, like on a sun, when there's a sunset and it starts coming down all the way right before it's dusk, it would, it's like that color that you see in the sky, especially when you're like at the beach. Very pretty. 
goodness. <sighs> okay, there we go. Now that they're done trying to get in my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is this is a stunning style. I love this feathering on the side. I, I feel like you can't go wrong with that. It's incredibly flattering. Oh, thank you, Eileen. You can see this is what it looks like when you pull it back, how much there is. There's not very much left over. So it's definitely a manageable amount. There's more up on top um, with the, so the bit of permatease that's in it is really just like a strip under here through this area. There isn't, there's not any here. Yeah, it's really just right here. And so there's, it's not a ton of permatease either. It's not like a pillow. Um, I do have to say that there's quite a bit of room in here. I've even got the whole entire full wig grip cap and it's still, is giving me extra room so if you're concerned about big head friendliness and whatnot it, i would definitely say that it's probably big head friendly probably up to a 23 probably at least oh thank you marlene thank you sheree such a pretty cut it's such prettier color than the photo show yeah i feel like sometimes the the um stock photos are real hard to read sometimes for sure because it's like Love that color on you so pretty. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah, no, I agree. This is a gorgeous color. Alrighty. So that was the Lux Sleep. Alright. And so this is the next style, which is Cosmo Sleek. Oh, this is the one that's kind of like longer. Okay. All right. This one, her cap is different. Let me show the color difference between these two. Because I know it can be kind of dif difficult to tell. So this is the Frozen Sapphire right here. And this was the Lunar Haze. So you can see that this one's more periwinkle. But they're both like this like interesting silvery color. This one, the roots, you can see it's almost got, especially if I go like this, you can see that it is got like a navy blue tinted sort of root and this one has got that like basically black almost black kind of root and that this one is more purple this one is more blue of course you hold them together they look pretty there you go you can see they're similar but this one is definitely more purple this one is definitely more blue because they're a little bit similar oh thank you Kay I had this one in this color but it was way too tight on my head yeah I find that there are ones like this one, for instance, this one's got a complete in, it's, I call it closed wefted or like an encased, um, like Metafresh sort of cap as opposed to open wefted. These ones will stretch, well, this one stretches not too much, it's not bad, but it doesn't stretch as much as ones that are open wefted for sure because they're sewn like together. So this one has an extended velvet nape and pull type, or excuse me, Velcro adjusters. This one's Velcro. And it has the hidden extender right here. It's um, velvet ear tabs that are moldable. It also has a lace front with a left-sided lace part. And the entire thing is closed cap, which I prefer that. But if you're looking for big head friendly, I would say that that's not the case with this one anyways. Um, but I would say that it's good for somebody who doesn't want the return hairs or whatever they're called where they stick through and they poke you through the wefting because I have an issue with that every time I take them off they do that uh hi Kelly oh I need all those colors says Marlene uh the silky sleek my mistake oh okay yeah Cosmo sleek by Renee of Paris Muse collection uh she says oh she says it's this one she says is 98 dollars and 30 cents that's not bad are all the wigs tonight in fashion colors no we just did a dark brown one yeah see this one was a dark brown and i showed an aesthetica that was a red color but um it's not part of the muse collection but there are there's another brown color and there's two blondes so no not all of them are fashion colors but the muse collection from renee of paris does have a lot of um fashion colors Okay, really? One issue with wig, wig cap grips, I swear.
All right. So she's obviously longer and she's pretty. This color is interesting. I like the color. I usually don't go for blues. I find that they're kind of difficult to wear, but maybe, maybe they're not. This looks pretty. I think those caps are especially comfortable. Yep. With sensitive scalps. Exactly. Marlene. No, when I saw when some of them had the, um, the enclosed caps, I was like, those are, those are the ones that I should like remember the most and see, see if I like them. <laughs> Your eyeshadow looks good with that wig you're holding. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I was going for something a little more simple. I usually do like six different colors, but I was just like, I'm just going to do two. <laughs> thank you, Kay. All right. So she's got a lace front also right in here. I like the root. It's very interesting. It's dark, but because of the fashion colors added to it, it's almost like it doesn't appear as dark, which is because if I feel like if it was black, it'd be very stark. And this, because it's still got the same color scheme, doesn't come off as um, aggressive, if that makes sense. Love the style. Looks beautiful, says Marlene. You look really good in blue, Allison. Oh, thank you, Kelly. All right. So here she is all the way forward. I'm shorter. So my guess is this one is I think it's supposed to be a, like kind of like medium length. I think of long as being like down here on me, but I would say that she's like a medium length hair with lots of layers. Though I think medium's technically supposed to be like at the shoulder, but that seems crazy because that would be where Cosmo Sleek was medium. Or no, Cosmo, hold on. The names are Lux Sleek. There we go. But no, this is. Pretty color. I know people were asking about it. Here's a close-up of the root while I'm wearing it. You can see it definitely has that pretty navy blue and like silvery, silvery, like, oh my goodness. There we go. The like silverly, silvery blue pretty color and you can see the rooting peek through when the hair moves. So it's very dimensional and very pretty. Overall, Cosmo Sleek is about 14 inches long. Oh, really? That's it? Oh, uh -huh. like I said, I'm short. Sometimes things that are not as long as other people, they will appear super, super long on me. Like I know that the Allegro 28 is long as 28 inches, but for me, it goes down to like here. <laughs> All right, so this is the Mauve Berry. This one is the new purple color. It's really pretty. So Mauve, uh, is like a purpley pink color that's kind of um, uh, subdued or muted to a degree. So that's exactly the correct color for this. And the rooting is, I'm going to say it's a dark brown for sure. That's not medium. The um, medium one was on this one. Yeah. So you can see the difference in the color. This one's medium and this one's dark brown. Even though it's longer, it has face rooming layers, so that's that are flattering. Yes, Marlene, exactly. All right, so same cap construction as before. It's enclosed, lace front, left sided lace part, Velcro adjusters, extended velvet nape. Keeps wanting to catch my wig grip. My goodness, it's gonna be a consistent thing over tonight, it would seem. <laughs> oh, interesting. I actually had my hair dyed this color one time. Now that I've got it on. Interesting. I used to dye my own hair and I would use like Manic Panic and like Pravana colors. And this is, I think, almost like a dead ringer for, was it Pravana Orchid? If I had to say, if, any, if anyone's familiar with that. Love the color, says Marlene. Pretty, says Eileen. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. This is a super pretty color. Almost makes me wish I'd put purple in my eye makeup this time. There she is to the front with, you can see, like Marlene said, all the pretty face framing layers. Very, very pretty. Wow, gorgeous color on you. Love that one. Thank you, Shirley. Love the color on you. So pretty. Yeah, no, it's it's really pretty. I love the like under hue of pink. And I think that makes it more wearable as opposed to a really bluish sort of purple. I know that more on the violet spectrum can make it Sometimes not as good for all skin tones, but I think this one makes it really easy to wear for sure. Definitely very pretty. 
yeah, no, this is this is a super pretty color. Here we, here we go again. I'm gonna readjust this. Hold on. Yeah, it just keeps grabbing the the nape, like the velvet nape on the wig is what happens. There we go. That feels good. Okay. So here's our next style. This is their longest one in the new Muse series one. This is Allure Waves and it's with a Z, Waves. And this is in Marble Brown. So this is, I would say this is a medium brown also. And it has a bunch of golden, almost like coppery highlights mixed throughout it. So it's very like chunky, like I'm going to say like 90s, how they used to do the highlighting then where it's very like zebra stripey. <laughs> so it's it's really in fashion, honestly, with some of the people who like doing the, what is it, the, what do they call it? I don't even know what the style is, honestly. So this one is got a center part lace front and it is, this one is all entirely closed wefted as well. It has an extended velvet nape here and Velcro adjusters. It has the adjusters hidden along the sides here. And I feel like this one's gonna be really easy to wear but it's super pretty. You see, here it is. I haven't brushed it out or anything, and I can while I'm here to show you what the intended style is. Oh, you agree, Marlene? Pravana Orchid? Yeah. <laughs> this is, this. we're talking about wigs, and I'm over here. It's hair dye. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay, yeah, that was much better. Didn't, didn't grab the wig, wig grip this time. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. This style is super easy to wear. Goodness. Love it. Your bio hair color now. Oh, okay, okay. That's a super pretty color. Goodness, it just put you back there. Okay, there we go. This is all of it forward, and as you can see, this is super pretty. Oh, that's, yeah, like, this is gorgeous. I love the, like, this. All right, so I will... Where's my brush? I always misplace things in here, I swear. Every time I redo the room, I can't find anything. <laughs> and there she is. Okay, so I will go ahead and brush her out so you can see exactly what the intended style is supposed to be. Ooh, I love that one on you too. Right, Shirley? This is so pretty. Like, honestly, it's, 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 this is, I'm really impressed with this entire collection. Usually I'm not one to be like, be like, oh yeah, like I like, you know, Adirans or whatnot, but I've really grown to really love them, to be honest. Like I think their color selections are just fabulous and their caps, especially the ones when they make them clothes wefted, are fantastic. And like the Norikos, when you get into them, they have just the, like, it's so, so easy. They are the per most perfect throwing goes because their styles are just like locked in, especially with all the permatease, if you don't mess with it, it stays like that for like ever. And they are just so, so pretty. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. Oh, and it's so shiny and soft too. Like you guys saw how easy that was. On the ones with close wefting, do the wefts look any different than normal wefts from the outside, like if the wind blows the hair up? I can show you that. So Pretty says, Megan, despite the length, it doesn't appear to be high density. It's not, no, it's not high density. So that would make it easier for someone who doesn't want to deal with it. Like you can see right here when I go through it, it's really not a lot. It's not like um, an Angelica, for instance, which is super high density in my opinion. This color looks so natural on you, Allison. Oh, thank you, Eileen. Throw that one on with my bell bottoms, right, Bridget? Okay, so I will show. This one was closed wefted too. So you have to get really in there, but you can see, probably not the best color to use. It's kind of on the dark side. Let me see. So here is the wefting from underneath, 
but you have to really get in there and you can see here's the cap that is underneath it you can see that even with these light fibers because the cap underneath is not black they've made it a nude color that even if you shake it around and everything like this you can't see it and you go like this even you have to really get in there and like go like this to see it if that makes sense so can you still see the wefting y yes but i mean you'd have to really be like in there and messing with the hair to get to it otherwise it is they have done a really good job of like stacking the hair and sewing it together so that it doesn't just show in the back like let me see so here's where i pulled the hair forward i'm gonna see if normally there's some latency yeah so you can't see the wefting when I even pull it all forward. So I know some people say that if you pull all the hair forward, it looks really um, bald or bare in the back and you can see that it doesn't. So it hides it a little bit better. Despite the length, yeah. Throw that on, yeah. Hi ladies, please share out so we can give away some gift cards. So uh, Shirley, Vicky says, it says seven ounces. Yeah, so the cap, because of it being closed, is a little more, I would uh, talk about it as being more secure feeling on your head. And the cap itself might look weigh a little bit more, but it's more akin to like, kind of wearing like a beanie, but it's very thin, if that makes sense. Um, the hair itself does not have a lot of weight. Thank you for sharing, Lee. Thank you for sharing, Renee. Interesting, thank you. You're welcome, Anne. All right, so... The, this was the one color that I was super, super interested in was this icy petal, which I just picked up a second ago. And this is going to be in the Allure Waves as well. And she has, like I said, the same cap construction, except it's nude to match with the lighter hair color and everything. So same as before, clothes wafted so all the hairs don't come back and poke you. I find it more comfortable. I, I have a sensitive scalp. I have like psoriasis and I've got an inflammatory like scarring alopecia. So anytime it gets irritated, it hurts bad. So, and ones like this make it more comfortable for sure. It has a lace front here, center part, same as before, an extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters and hidden adjuster straps in the sides here and velvet ear tabs that are moldable. And this icy petal is super interesting. So it is like, I'm going to say it's like a baby blonde that kind of leans into like a purple, purpley sort of hue, but not, not quite. It still comes off pink. I know in the lighting, it can make it look a certain way. I feel like if I bring it over here, it might look a little different in that lighting potentially. It's, it's interesting. It kind of shifts between looking pink and looking platinum. And it does have where you can see there's the like same sort of highlights where they're kind of chunky and then it comes through all the way and it looks very much especially if you like hold it back here you can see where it almost looks like I would describe it as a pink platinum color and it's, it's really really pretty say so Valentine's Day is coming right around and I feel like this would be perfect for that <laughs> especially if you want oh I love this this color is fantastic oh my goodness and I'm not one to usually like pink sometimes, depending on how pink they are, but this is really pretty. There we go. You can see this is not brushed out. The other one I did brush out, or I guess combed it out really, but this is so, so pretty. Like, makes me feel like a fairy, <laughs> like the way that it looks. So I went from feeling like not great when I started this, and now I feel like Kind of okay. Thank you for sharing, Gloria. Thank you for sharing, Eileen. Thank you for sharing, Julia. Love the cap. Looks so comfy. Pink platinum suits you. Thank you, Julia. That color is gorgeous on you, says Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Yeah, no, this is... This, I think this is my favorite color so far. This is so pretty. Like, I thought it was going to be the Lunar Haze one. And honestly, that brown was super pretty, but th I love this. This color is so pretty. Ooh, this is, so, this is so pretty, like, honestly. Perfect with your eyeshadow. It looks great on you. Thank you so much, Shirley. 
perfect with your skin tone rightly that's exactly what i think like it brings out the the right the right kind of pink i don't know shirley i might need an invoice for this one <laughs> it's so pretty i love it hi victoria first timer here Lee says, can you, can it pony up? Yes, I will try. Pretty, me too. Pretty says Vicky. Wowza, says Heather. Welcome, Victoria, says Vicky. Okay, let's see. Let me grab the tag. Where'd you go? Uh, goodness. Of course, the one time I can't find it. Is it not in my hand? Oh, okay, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so I can go on a low pony for sure, like hair tie. There is a low pony for certain. Let me see how much I can. Yes, you need to keep that one, says Marlene. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Well, said like, all right, let me see if I can. tag out of the way. I'm just going to put that shirt real quick. Now this isn't a hundred percent hand tie. It's clothes wefted. So, you know, honestly, that really doesn't look too bad. Like, to be honest, like it really doesn't look terrible. the back yeah that's not like horrific normally it doesn't look super great and of course if you pull these these out like on this side um hold on yeah i mean i feel like you could wear it like this if you're okay with i mean my ears bent out because i have the wig cap grip on if i didn't have it on it wouldn't bend out like that but no like i don't feel like that looks terrible and i feel like these little tendrils are super pretty so, yeah, I mean, I think you could wear it up for sure. Look how cute that, look how that cut would be cute and updo. Yeah, no, I think it would be also. Is that heat friendly? Sorry if you've already said, no, 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 Michelle. Yes, it's heat friendly. I think that looks great. Thank you. You're welcome, Lee. Yeah, no, this is. I never would have thought I could put this up. I should try that with every wig now. Just like throw it <laughs> Yes, exactly. Shirley says the, the Muse collection is all heat friendly. Exactly. And here is the lace front in case you're wondering. And I find that super light colors like this look super, super good when it comes to the hair coloring and the knotting and everything. That's oh, right. I put her in my shirt. <laughs> There we go. No, this is, guys, this color is, this, these colors are fantastic. Like, I just can't, I can't get over how pretty these are. That's, okay. So the next style is Panache Waves. And this is in the color Milky o Opal R. So this is our first blonde. You're welcome, Michelle. Lace front is great. Right, Julia? Okay, so this has a, I would say it's like a light medium brown or light to medium brown golden root and but the rest of it is super super like ashy toned and I know it might come across a little yellowy looking but it's really not this one um this creamy toffee in comparison you can see how yellow it is in comparison to this one so it's, it's really really not like yellow this would be the ashiest blonde in this whole collection that you can get the kind of ashiness too. So this is an open wefted one. It has a lace front and a left sided lace part. Open wefted. It doesn't have an extended nape but it is still velvet and it has a pull type adjuster. I like this blonde. I think it's pretty. From what I haven't like I've have not tried any of these on so this is all new. I got them and laid them out and like I said I've been sick so That was all I was able to do. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Like literally right above 
the shoulders and everything with just enough. Would you look at that? That's so pretty. Very natural, I think. Ooh, love that one, says Vicky. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty. So here's the lace front on here. Let me grab those hairs. It's like a hair that's there we go. So you can see there's the lace front. It's not terribly bad with the darker rooting, but because of the way it falls, if you were to leave it like that, you, you don't even see it. Ooh, so pretty, says Marlene. So pretty, says Anne. I agree. This is, this is super pretty. Yes. All right, so let's see what she looks like a little bit. So I feel like the picture looks a little different. Oh, okay, there it is. There's the little, I was like, where's that little, like, it almost comes to like a point in the front on the stock photos, but not really on here. I've got like a little, there we go. Oh. Yeah, see, that's so pretty. Look how natural that looks too, I feel. It's very, very pretty. Oh, that's... This collection was made for you. Everyone just gets pretty. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Shirley. <laughs> yeah, no, this is so gorgeous. Like, I, I can't. Like, I don't think I've really ever tried on an entire grouping of um, a collection before and been like, I love every single one and every color is this amazing, but it's happening. <laughs> Especially when they're not, like, these are not, hi like, hyper expensive either. These prices are amazing. Right, Gigi? That's literally what I was saying. <laughs> like, for the prices not being super high, these are, they're, it's, like, shocking me how nice these these are and how they look and how they feel. Like, the fibers are very soft and the colors are very dimensional and natural looking. You can see that. And the styles are super pretty. I can like easily restyle it with my hands here. Yeah, that's that's super good. It is synthetic. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Julia. All right. Like I said, the next one I have is this the was the darker, warmer blonde, and it is unrooted and it is I believe it's creamy toffee. Yes. So this is Panache Waves in creamy toffee. You can see how much warmer and like richer it is. This to me almost looks like a, um, what's the word I would use? Almost like a harvest sort of blonde, like a very fall friendly. Blonde is kind of what it reminds me of. Now it's like a weird descriptor, but same cap as before, lace front, left-sided part, uh, not an extended nape, but it does, it is velvet, full type adjusters, velvet ear tabs with multiple pieces. You see from where I brushed out the other one, and this one I haven't. Hold up the difference. So you can see, this one wants to play the face flop just a little bit more, but that's all right. So you can see that this is what it looks like when I brushed out the front here, where it's just a little more, like, lived in, a little more natural, and these are a bit more compact. That's, that's all it does. Yeah, so the Panache Waves is only $113.40. That is, that is definitely a good price. My goodness. I have this one coming. It's been a while since having Renee of Paris. Oh, I'm excited for you, Kathy. Yes, they are heat friendly. Yep, Muse Collection is heat friendly. Exactly. Super pretty. I actually like this color too. It doesn't look too bad on my skin tone either. Give it like the, the hair shake and see how pretty the, the bounciness of the waves are. It's so pretty. All right. So the next one I have is not part of the new Muse collection, but these are colors that are involved in the Muse collection. So I asked Shirley for them so that you guys could see them because I think they're really interesting. And I know that um, there are people who really love the fashion colors. So this one right here is the style Lavish Waves with the Z at the end, and it is called Cosmic Teal. So this one is a longer one. I can hold up 
the new Allure Waves. And you can see the difference in the style and the length. I love how this one like glows almost. So you can see this one is more like all one length with beautiful beachy waves. And this one's got more like a kind of like a high glamour sort of shattered curls all the way through in layers. See where it's like all the way down. All right. So this one here, its cap construction is oh, pretty good too. Lace front, this one goes ear to ear, you can see it here. It's velvet covered ear tabs, a center part that is lace, and you have where it is open wefted and stretchy. It has an extended velvet nape here and pull type adjusters. So Cosmic Teal, I'll give you a close up on this, is really quite interesting. So it is like, I would say it's a black or off black, so maybe like a 1B also, because it's not super harsh. There is two colors that are like a green bluish in here. So you have this deeper teal that almost looks like a forest green on there a little bit. You can kind of see it. And then right here, it is lighter in the front, which gives it a more kind of bluish, but it's still in the teal kind of spectrum. There's a lot of blue and green going on. Hence the teal. Oh, this is like super pretty. Let's get the tag out of here. Oh, I hate when they have two of them. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there we go. So she's super easy to wear, I feel, also. Comfortable, lightweight, even though there's a lot of long hair here. This honestly kind of reminds me of the way that like the Bobby Boss ones are, where it's got like the super fun style and the super pretty colors. This is, I like this color too. Like this is so pretty. It's on the darker side for somebody who doesn't want a light fashion color. You can see here is the lace front. So it is really, really pretty and good with such interesting fashion color. Yes, they are heat friendly. Yeah. Lavish waves. Can you please put the first on again? Missed it. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Laura. Love that color. Me too, Marlene. Like, I, you know what? I feel you'd really, really love this one. Like, I feel like this would be super pretty with your skin tone. Like the greens and the blues, I think with the olive, the olive undertones would be so pretty. So you can see how she, how long she is from the side. So not terribly long, about bra strap length on me. About right here. So mid to lower rib cage, and I am almost 5'3, like 5'2 and 3 quarters. So not terribly long. All right. And then the next one is the same style, and it is lavish waves, except this is in smoky forest. This color is so, so interesting. It literally is like a smoky green color. And it is like, there's almost like, it's got that, like hints the muted smoky color. And then the roots kind of also mirror that where it is like a, I would say it's, it's an off black, but it has these pieces running through it that are like a gray color that are still the greenish. And it is so pretty. I've never seen a color quite like it. So same as before, lace front, center part, um, velvet ear tabs, and it has an extended velvet nape. Make sure I got that on. So be perfect for St. Patrick's Day when you don't want to have a super bright green wig. course there you are again <laughs> so that's a very interesting color I have to say Let's see, get the hairs out of the way all right so there she is very pretty color pretty style for sure we'll length on her again Alrighty. 
pretty, says Kay. Thank you. All right, so I will put on the first one. Laura wanted to see her, which was this one. This is Lux Sleek in Lunar Haze again. Um, she's got lace front, left sided lace part, open wefted, extended velvet name, pull type adjusters, and velvet ear tabs that are moldable. So she is, she's a stunner. I love this style. It's so pretty. It's super easy to wear, in my opinion. It's not dense along the bottom at all. It's got these beautiful feathering and face framing. And I mean, the color is super pretty. It's like a periwinkle lavender silver color with the soft black rooting. Super pretty. Uh, Shirley says, just an FYI, even though they do not have good stock in the Muse collection, it is listed as a like, limited edition. So not sure how long they will be available. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. It looks gorgeous on me. Thank you, Laura. So yes. If anyone wants to see anything again, I can show that. Yes, I can show that for you. Yeah, okay, so Lux Sleek, the one I'm wearing right now, is $113.40. I will show the inside of the cap. Is there a melted marshmallow color in this collection? Uh, I, I think there is, yes. If you go and look on Shirley's website, if I remember correctly, I think there is a couple of um, styles that come in it. Every style does not come in every color but i know i think there is one that is uh, melted marshmallow yeah i think it might be i know that i think the uh, the allure waves comes in it allure allure waves so your lace front left sided lace part open wefted and stretchy extended velvet nape and pull type adjusters and velvet ear tabs that are moldable you're welcome laura Is there a blonde color? Yes, Michelle, there's two of them. Good night, great show tonight. Okay, okay, Gigi, thank you for stopping in and watching. Big head friendly, Colleen, I would say that these could probably fit up to a 23, would be my guess. I am a uh, 21 and three quarters, and then with this on, it adds on the extra bulk. I'm not sure what that adds to it, but I, when I put it on, and they're open all the way. I'll, I'll show you in just a second. These are the two blonde colors. You have Milky Opal R, and this is Creamy Toffee. Yes, there is Melted Marshmallow, says Megan. Okay. Yes, all four of these are available in Melt. Mel okay, there we go. They are all available in Melted Marshmallow. Okay. So let me put it on real quick so I can show. Yeah, the Milky Opal is going to be your most ashy. For sure. Um, it's probably comparable kind of to like a shaded biscuit, honestly, is what I would say is that's kind of what it reminds me of, at least the blonde part of it. Um, so here is let me see. You can stretch it out. You can see I'm trying to it does allow for stretching still on both sides at the same time. And up in the top, you can see how much room there is in there. There's quite a bit. So I would say probably to a 23. You're welcome, Michelle. Can we see the creamy toffee in, in Muse? Love creamy toffee. Okay. So uh, this is the Muse collection, Charlene. I can show you the creamy toffee color. I have it in, in um, Panache Waves. This is right here, the Creamy Toffee. This, yeah, this is part of the Muse collection, and the style on this one is Panache Waves, but I can show you the Creamy Toffee. There you go. So this is going to be your warmer, um, unrooted, a little bit richer sort of blonde. You can see, very pretty. Colleen says pretty style in the Muse wig. Yeah, Charlene, this is the Muse collection. So I have, so it's Renee of Paris. They have a, like different collections and this is part of the Muse collection. And so there's a Lux Sleek, there's 
a Cosmo sleeve. There's Allure Waves, the one I'm wearing now, which is Panache Waves. And then also part of this is the um, Lavish Waves. No, no, you're all right, Charlene. You're okay. Do you have the dark chocolate color? Yes, Linda, I do. I can put that on for you. The one before this one, I just wanted to know if it's rooted. Yes, the one that is before this, yes, it is rooted. So as far as the blondes go, you can see this is the Milky Opal R. It is rooted and Creamy Toffee right here is not rooted. So there is a root and it is, it's not terrible. I would say it's kind of like a shadow root, just a little bit at the top there and just kind of fades out. It's comes through the back a little bit, so it adds dimension, but it's not like, like a long root. Yes. I can show the dark chocolate color. All right, so I have got the dark chocolate color and this is on the Lux Sleek. Put her on. I actually really like this color because it's neutral, leaning warm, but it also has like a cool base and it's, this is it's so interesting because normally I can't wear a color this dark and I can. So it's, it's super pretty and I feel like this would be really flattering if somebody really likes dark colors because honestly this brown is, this is really pretty and I'm not one to be, you know me, I'm not a big huge fan of super dark colors, but this one for sure, this is a gorgeous rich brown absolutely like it's so it's so pretty you see it with the feathering and here are the knotting for the dark color oh, okay lunar haze oh, okay charlene you're welcome linda the one where you showed in the lilac haze oh yes that would be the luxe sleek Charlene, yeah. Looks lovely, says Linda. Okay, I'm glad you love it. What is the name of the first one? The first one is the same style as this. So the first one is the same style as the one that I'm wearing. It is called Lux Sleek, and this color is lo uh, Lunar Haze. So this is gonna be your like lavender, kind of periwinkle, silvery color. It's super, super pretty and has a, like I'd say like a warm, not warm. I'd say like a soft, I would say like a 1B. It's not a straight one. And you can see the difference between this one, how it is just a little bit more neutral than the dark chocolate. And I would say that this is a 4 for sure. So it's definitely a dark color. And so you can see here is the same kind of vibe going on here with the feathering. So there's where she is. Yes. Yep. The very first one is Lux Sleek and Lunar Haze. And this is a really easy style. I, I mean, honestly, it's super pretty. Do you think can do a bang? Yeah, I mean, it's got a lace front. And if you just pull down the hairs, so, so she's got a really nice lace front. Let me fold it there. Really nice lace front right here. And if you were to section out, say about like this much right here in the lace front area, if you were to take that, but take this part here and then use like, um, cause it's, it's a heat defiant one. You could use like a heat, a hot comb or something, comb it forward. So it wants to lay down like bangs and then trim it to your desired length. Yeah, no, I definitely think that you could fit her in there cause it has a uh, temple to temple as far as the lace front goes. You can see it right here. There'd be plenty of hair for a bang, for sure. I think she'd look cute with some bangs, honestly. Alrighty, let's see. Is there anything else that anyone would like to see? Because otherwise, if people are up for it, I'm not, I'm not feeling too bad, so I can if people would like to see some Lux or City Collection, I have those on either side and I can show those too if anyone has any interest in that. So just go ahead and let me know. So I know there's always a little bit of latency. Otherwise, then we can just wait for next time. <laughs> Because I do, I was supposed to have some hair you wear come in, the new ones from Hairdo and... 
Dusty Rose. Okay. Dusty Rose. I could do her. What's the hairdo? And there was, I think, some more ben big spenders to look at. I think that's everything that was in there. Yeah. The, the three new styles from hairdo. The FedEx store just decided not to deliver. So they'll be here next week. So here we go. Very pretty. And like I said, the way I would describe this style and you, or color, and you can actually see it, it's not like a flat tone and it doesn't come across very well. But when you get it in person, there is like peach, pink, red, uh, orange, different hues mixed all throughout. It's highly dimensional. It's just heavily blended. And the root on here is like a medium brown. It's not a dark brown. And it is super, super pretty. It is like I, like I described it earlier. It's almost like a sunset right before dusk. And as it starts fading down, this is like the color of the sky. This is what it reminds me of. Yes, please, City Collection. Okay, sure. Hi, Allison. Can I see Cosmo Sleek? Yes, Anna. I believe that's this one, right? No, that's the next one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I will get to it. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Can you show me a color comparison? A color in the BT City Collection that is comparable to the shade Sunkist Almond R from the Lux Collection? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me get that one out. All right, Anna, let me put on this one right here. I've got it in the mauve berry color. So this is the, right, what you wanted was the Cosmo Sleep, correct? Yeah, okay. Cosmo Sleep. Here's it in the mauve berry. Is there something dark purple there inches left? Is there something dark purple there inches left? I'm not sure what you, what you mean, Kathy. So Cosmo Sleek is one of the ones that has a full enclosed, like, closed wafted cap. So it's got a lace front, um, left-sided lace part here. It's all enclosed, extended velvet nape, Velcro adjusters, hidden adjusters here, velvet ear tabs that are moldable. And she's just, she's a really cute style, so... Alrighty. I don't pull it back forward. All right. So here is the Lux Sleek. You can see she's very easy. I think she's a really easy style to wear. Super pretty. Not terribly long. Definitely not high density. I'd say this is realistic density for hair, for sure. And I bet you could probably put this one up just like I did with the Allure Waves. Allure. Allure. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do you have a melted marshmallow to show on any muse? I don't, Leanne. No. Uh, Torino is not due in stock until March, April time frame. You're sh oh, I'm showing it, Kathy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, this is the mauve berry color. Yes, this is the new color that they just came out with. Does that... Does that go for the other newer BT styles? Uh, Kelly, the newest BT styles that I've personally got on hand that I can show is I have the uh, Pure Ambrosia, which was part of the cafe collection. And then I have the entire city collection besides the new four. It was like Torino. Um, of course, I'm going to blank out because Torino, Genova, there was like a couple of other words, or Genoa, I'm not quite sure which Italian city they were going after this time, but um, I've got all of the Lux as far as, except besides the new ones, the Louis, and my brain, sorry, but yeah, those are the ones that I have, I have all the styles in the city collection besides the new four, I have all the Lux besides the new two, Louis, and I don't know why I can't come up with it, I literally watched it, <laughs> probably because I was in and out of sleep. Hi, Susan. I'm excited about the Veneta from Friday night. Oh, yes. No, Veneta was really pretty. Like, and of course, Shirley had an every color. And I was like, oh, it's so cute. Because it was just like right here. It's super pretty. 
uh, what is, this is what I was asking, was saying they are not coming out until March or April. So, Kelly, I think if I remember correctly, let me just look it up because I know that I can answer that too. When it comes to the City Collection new stuff, let me see. So, okay, so Genova, Milano, Mod uh, Modena, and Torino are all coming out. It says ETA of March 2024, meaning that there's an estimation of it, assuming that everything goes well, all the, all the wigs come in and they pass inspection. Then they will be sent to retailers, or retailers will be able to get their first to show off, and then people can order them, and so on and so forth. Um, that is what that means. And as far as the other ones, so the Lux Collection... I know it has more of like a stacked coming out sort of thing. So Caroline, Celine, Louis, Mara, McQueen, Saint, Stella, and Vanetta. It has an ETA of early 2024, but it doesn't have a month. So it could be next month. We don't know. Or at least I don't. Maybe Shirley does. Um, Fontaine, Hudson. Uh, I think it's either Mason or Maison. It depends. I'm not sure if they're going for French there or not. And Taylor. Those are have an ETA of April of 2024. Um, Bella, Tori, and Tiffany have an ETA of May 2024. So they're all coming out in like increments. Hi, hi, Dominica. The City Collection wigs that were just released are finally restocking at the end of the month. The next batch has been moved to April uh, 15th. They will the then they then there will be some every month there we go okay yeah so they have some and then they have to remake them depending on how many people want and so on and so forth there's the supply and demand sort of thing could i see what the marble brown looks like yes colleen no problem and then all right so i've got this is the marble brown you see she's really pretty and this is on the allure waves so you can see she's got it's a medium brown I would say and I, I said they were like quite warm they almost are like they're golden bordering on copper um, but it's really pretty and of course this is a totally enclosed cap again Cent uh, lace front center part hidden adjusters velvet ear tabs extended velvet nape there and I did brush this one out so you can see what is the intended style there is the marble brown i kind of actually like the like chunky highlights they remind me of the 90s <laughs> the way that girls used to highlight their hair you're welcome colleen all right i know some piece that they wanted to see show me a color in btcd collection that is comparable to the shade sunkissed almond uh there really is and actually now that i'm thinking sunkissed almond in that there really isn't one so sunkissed almond in my opinion is kind of close to like brown sugar sweet cream and there really isn't one in the um city collection so the city collection only has like three browns and the coolest ash brown that one obviously doesn't fit the bill um and then you have mocha maple brown, and then you have the uh, dark brown with highlight. That one definitely is way too dark. Um, and the mocha brown is honestly just, it's almost the same shade. It's just the color of the highlighting and the chunkiness. It changes um, color, so it gives like a different hue. There isn't really one in sun-kissed almond that is comparable. Oh, the chunky highlights aren't for you. Yeah, it's it's definitely a stylistic choice. Oh, you agree, Colleen? Yeah, that reminds you of the 90s for sure, right? Right. I'm just wondering if there is a color like brown sugar sweet cream in City or even mocha with cream. Yeah, I've answered this question a whole bunch of times on the lives when it comes to it. Unfortunately, the City collection, I mean, I can take them out and I can show you. So, um... It, it unfortunately is they really don't have anything like that. So I think of brown sugar sweet cream and mocha with cream 
both being kind of like an in-between color. It can be, some people could say it's brown, some people could say it's blonde, except for mocha with cream, which has like an almost black root. So when it comes to those colors, none of the rooting done on the City Collection is dark like that. And then when it comes to the actual um, colorations, like they don't have like an in-between color. Like you can look at this and say it's brown. It's brown with highlights for sure. There's no like, is it blonde? Is it brown? And that's what brown sugar sweet cream is to me. And basically mocha with cream is the Nutella color, which is like brown, red, and blonde, highly blended with a black root. So there's nothing like that in this. I mean, I can tell you the closest thing I could say when it comes to trying to get something along the lines of brown sugar sweet cream or mocha with cream. So this is um, mocha maple brown. This one is brown and it has highlights that are sort of similar. So we're talking about doesn't, doesn't come across the same, but it still has the same colors in here. There just really isn't any blonde, if I remember correctly. It's missing that aspect. I mean, but the color, as you can see, it is kind of got like that Nutella buttercream sort of esque hue going on. But I haven't seen it in a longer piece for me. But I would say that this is going to be the closest color wise that you were going to get to a mocha with cream. There's no root but it has the same color spectrum, if you get what I'm saying. Otherwise, there, there isn't something that's like a straight um, across delineation where it's the same. So, and this one's even more difficult. This is the brown sugar with cream. So you can see this is the one where I say, is it blonde? Is it brown? You just don't know. It's an in-between color. So it is it is brown and it's got blondes and it's heavily, heavily highlighted and it itself also has a bit of a root. So this is, I mean, it's a really beautiful color. I, I know why you guys are asking. So as you can see, this is far darker. It looks brown straight away. Like it's, it's not comparable. And this one here was too brown. It's not comparable. And then you have the, um, come on, the cool ash brown right here. You can see it's sort of comparable, but it's missing all the highlights. So if the highlights were something that you really loved about brown sugar sweet cream, you're not going to get that with the cool ash brown. Sure, are they around the same? I'd say they're tonally the same because they're both kind of, they're in that in-between spectrum. This one's super cool, and this one, it doesn't know what it is. It's either blonde, it's brown, it's it's neutral, it's not. It's It's got a lot going on, and it's that's why it's, I think it's so versatile and why so many people love it, honestly. And it's just unfortunate that there isn't something that's that's a straight across um a straight across obvious choice okay well, i missed a lot i'll post a list of the wigs and their estimated shipping dates once this live is over i hope that will help everyone so surely uh no don't go into oh no it's okay kelly that's that's what i'm here for i can't do this in reels those are only like a minute long <laughs> Hi, Dolores. Thanks, Shirley's Web Shop. That would be great, says Kelly. I agree, Allison. I have it in a longer piece. Mocha Maple is just missing the blonde in the blend. Yeah, absolutely, Marlene. Thank you, Allison. I appreciate you going to the trouble taking them out. No, no, no. You're okay, Kelly. It, I actually get this, this question all the time, uh, specifically about brown sugar sweet cream and mocha with cream. Um, Anna says, wonder why they wouldn't have comparable to those colors. They are so popular. They are, uh, I like some of the styles, but nothing works for me in colors. Oh, really, Anna? Oh, goodness. Both colors are beautiful, but I love, yeah, but you love brown sugar sweet cream. Yeah, I'm not sure why they, why they did that. I honestly can't tell you. This is pure ambrosia, in case you were wondering. I think I'll plop her on real quick, because she's so pretty. While I'm going through this, because, <laughs> so let me see. The one I know I was talking about, and I will show these other ones in case you're interested in this. I know because we're kind of on that um, conversation right now. Is I will pull out, I know it doesn't make any sense, but I'll pull it out. Okay. 
I know that the browns and the what and the in between colors are always a question. Okay. And I think it's because they are an in between color. There's a high versatility rate is honestly what it comes down to. And that's why they work for so many people. They work for warm, they work for cool, they work for neutral. I mean, you can see it. If I was to have on orange eyeshadow, it would look more warm leaning. If I had on um, blue eyeshadow, it would look more cool leaning and it would work for both. Yeah, everyone loves it. Let's tell Mrs. Beltress that this group would help pick the colors for the next collection. Right, Sharon? I agree with Anna. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Look at how beautiful that, right? The brown sugar sweet cream. See, that's what I was saying. I was like, I'll put it on because it is super pretty. And I agree. And I, I do feel your guys' pain in it, to be completely honest. I really do. Because I really love Nutella butter cream. And I love mocha with cream, too. And I like brown sugar sweet cream. And it's just feel the same way. Maybe we'll get lucky in the next collection. You'd think Beltress would put out these newest styles and the most popular colors like brown sugar sweet cream and mocha with cream. Yeah. Okay, so I'm wearing the brown sugar sweet cream. I do have a mocha with cream that I can put on, so don't don't fret. I got that. Let me just um, clean this up real quick so I have some room to lay these out. Because I'm going to do like side by sides. That way you guys can see it. Because I know that that is one of the biggest, it's like the biggest question I get about which one is like brown sugar sweet cream and mocha with cream. And it's going to be, you have to be kind of flexible with the colors is what I'm going to say. So when it comes to, and what I mean by that is that they can be the same kind of tonally, but the color placements will be different. So if you like, say you in this one, you specifically like the, what is it color? Then there are a couple that are like that. Uh, if we ever have enough consensus on style and colors, we can make one or two of the new styles in the old colors that can be exclusive to us. I think that's a good idea. You know what, Shirley? I think the best way to do that would be to maybe put a poll in the group that and have it like pinned at the top. That way when people come into the group, they see it each time. That way they can say, um, if, you want a if you want one from the City Collection or even the Lux or something like that in a specific um, cafe color collection, that way they come in and they go ahead and vote on it, style and color. And then we can, kind of, or put like, you know, something like that I think would probably work the best. No way, really? Okay, everyone's excited about that. I'm wearing my tea leaf layer and, yeah, mocha with cream today. Uh, that would be fabulous. Which wig is that? This is Pure Ambrosia. Uh, Colleen, we can create a poll. Yep. I agree. We can do a poll. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> yes, a poll. Allison, we can work together on putting one together. Yes, Marlene. Yes, no problem. All right. So this is, these are going to be from the Lux collection, so I can show you that. And I do have the City Collection Browns still sitting here. I know the first one was the Sun-Kissed Almond. Yeah. All right. So here is the sun, doink. Okay, so here is the sun-kissed almond. So you can see it kind of, as I said, this is the closest in my opinion. Now you have to, like I said, be kind of flexible with your idea of it being similar because this is clearly a highly blended thing and this one is not so much, but you can see the colors are still similar. So they do have where it has a root, just like this one. Try and put it like that. You can see the colors are there. It's just the color translation is different. So this one, in my opinion, it leans neutral and it also leans warm. And like, so like the blonde up here is cool. There, this color here is on the warm side. You can see when it's blended throughout here. This is the one, in my opinion, that is the closest. And I know that it's kind of like a stretch a little bit. So. <laughs> Shirley says you're hired. Marlene. <laughs> so here you go. You can see. You can see where the colors are there. 
I ordered Chloe and Sunkissed Almond Ars. I thought it would be the closest. Right. So this is the Sunkissed. I don't have it in a Chloe, but this is in the Mew. And then keep that one open. The next one, I think, is this one. Yeah, so there's this one too, which is Toasted Walnut. And you can see it is more of like a blend. I mean, it's pretty close to, there's quite a few because of how many browns they have that are. But the thing that stood out to me was the fact that this one has the blonde in it. So this right here is Toasted Walnut. This one is Sunkissed Almond. And this one is the Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. So you can see they're all kind of in that same space. This one has more blonde going on to meet this one. And then this one here, let's see. Here's the root on her. Here's the root on this. You can see it's a little bit warmer still. The way that it comes across and then there is the blondes that come through these are more along the lines of like being golden i mean you can see it right there really well how it's almost like yellow when this one tends to lean more cool when it comes to the highlighting in it so you can see how there's the yellow in there and there's just a little bit you can see where there is ash in there as well but this one all of its highlighting all of its highlighting in it is ashy like this one as opposed to this one where it has the golden kind of point to it. So do you see how I'm saying they're similar? They're, they're all along the same vein. They're just slightly different. Uh, can I see toasted almond or in, you mean toasted walnut? Yeah, that's what I was just doing. That was a minute ago. I'm thinking I'm doing the same. It's even in my cart right now. So Sharon, I agree it is close. I think the difference is that brown sugar sweet cream doesn't have the auburn in the blend. Yeah. Love the more blended colors, not so much the chunky highlights, says Margaret. Walnut, right. Yes, yes. Would you try on Mew and the Sunkest Almond if you have time later? I can do it now, Sharon. Toasted Walnut has a red hue. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. It's got, it's got that kind of golden... Thing to it and I even held up the the bold in the front it definitely comes across very golden looking for sure pop her in there real quick all right so this is the sun-kissed almond in mew Sharon I guess I can take that off but whatever oh, it goes over pretty comfortable with the wig grip honestly Oh, thank you, Julia. It seems to be they layer each color on top of each other. That was a fabulous color comparison. You're welcome, Sharon. I think I will order both Sunkissed Almond and the Toasted Walnut. I think I would like them both. Yeah, they're very, very similar. I think depending on your mood potentially, it could be one of those things where you're like, I like this one today, I like that one today. Like this one to me comes across very sunny. And I, yeah, I guess Sunkissed Almond. <laughs> I guess that was a good a good one. where Because it, it has more blonde, super obviously. And the other one is more like, um, I would... I think I would gravitate, gravitate towards it more like in the fall time because it's a little richer and it, it's a little warmer. That's, that's what I would, I think. Yeah. So let me see. The other ones that I have are hazelnut syrup, brown sugar, or excuse me, chocolate buttercream and the rich chocolate brown. Yeah. I feel like those just aren't in the same category. Yeah. Especially hazelnut syrup. Like this is just, this is, it's really not comparable. This is too warm, in my opinion. Um, they've got like the chunky highlights on the nape, which is kind of an interesting choice. But you can see how it almost reminds me of without the brown in it. It's almost like, is it really? I don't think I've even compared those two. Let me see. This one's face flopping is bothering me. Let me take that off real quick. I'm looking at the wrong stack. Sorry, I've got like a hunch on something. It's too long. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. So, interesting. So it does share coloration with the red ones because of how much there is in it. That's not even more gold than that one, honestly. And it also shares like the same pattern of how much color there is on the top. So this is the Sunset Blonde and this is the Hazelnut Syrup. And you can see exactly how much is, it's how golden it is in comparison. Because this is like their, their reddest red. Like I said, it has like the same placements as like Fiery Copper does. But this one is where it's so chunky, almost chaotic. But I like that. So I don't view it as like negative. So but that's definitely, it's not comparable to brown sugar sweet cream or mocha with cream at all. Like not even close. So that's the definitely not. Uh, I didn't know you were on. What brand are you showing? Mary Jane, I started with Renee of Paris, the Muse Collection, and now I'm doing some Belle Trust like uh, color comparisons. Thank you for trying her on. That helps so much. I'm now getting Mew and Sunkissed Almond. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Sharon. None of them seem to have a money piece in the front. Not trying to be negative, but just like the lighter around the face. They are all beautiful wigs, just having a hard time loving a color. Oh no, Anna. Um, doesn't the City Collection have lighter pieces? L let me look, because I want to help you. In all the photos of hazelnut syrup I've seen, it kind of has a green tinge to it. There's, it's a lot of golden, yeah, and depending on certain certain lights, there are certain blondes that can come across, uh, come across kind of green. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Just, uh, oop, missed that. Just texted Julie to find out how long it would take to get the wigs if we can decide styles and colors. She replied, so I would airship so we can have those wigs in hand by the end of May. Get that poll ready. You heard it, ladies. Right here. We're making plans. <laughs> You're welcome, Mary Jane. Which color do you have that is more of an ashy blonde in Renee? That would be the, the milky opal for sure. That is the most ashy blonde. Thank you, Shirley. We'll have the pull up tomorrow. Yeah. So here is, this is the milky opal and you can see it, it is, it's very ashy. Um, has the other blonde that I have here is the creamy toffee and you can see it's, it's very warm. This one's rooted. It reminds me kind of of a, um, like a shaded biscuit sort of situation or like a crushed almond from the new bell trust situation. So let me see. Um, that one has it. Okay, Anna, do you have a favorite um, style or anything that you've looked at in the City Collection or one that you might be interested in? Because the milkshake blonde has a lighter highlight around the face. So does the crushed almond. I think the City Collection is going to be one that has a lighter one around the face for sure. There's two of them right there. Do you have a specific style you've been interested in at, at, at all, Anna? That milky opal is gorgeous color. Yeah, it is. I'll go ahead and put it on. Oh, got to put that thing back on. You're doing a great job. You love Newport? Okay, Anna. Yeah, here, I will show you. I have it in two colors. One's unrooted, so it, like, doesn't matter with that whole thing um, in the front because it's just one whole color, but I can show it to you. Um, the one I have is Milkshake Blonde, and I'll show you right here in this Newport. So here's the Milkshake Blonde. This one's, like, really highly comparable to um, Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch. Welch. And you can see right here, this has got the lighter in the front like you're used to with the Cafe Collection Bell Trust. So you can see where it's darker here and then you hold it up and you can see the lighter pieces. I'll put it on so you can see that. So if you pull it back like this, you can see where it's got the lighter in the front. It's definitely like highlighted here as opposed to being like a stark dark in the front here. So you can see that right there. Of course, it's, it's not mirrored, so I have to like come back here. Let's see. 
So there you go. You can see there's all the lighter pieces in the front. I pulled them up so you can see it. Uh, now, City Collection wigs would take longer, she's saying. So Lux Collection are the ones that would have quicker. I'm clarifying that right now, so surely. Newport wig and milkshake might be what she'd like. Yes, you love that, Anna? Okay, yes. See, this is actually one of my favorites. I think I showed this one um, on my favorites for 2023. The style is super easy and off the face. And it's one of those ones where you plunk it on out the box and it's super pretty. But yes, I think the City Collection ones are the ones they definitely have like a highlighted in the face. The, let's see, the Lux, as far as I know, I haven't really, let me see. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, Anna. So is there one in the Lux Collection you've ever been interested in? Because I know this is like, or like yellow, but it's definitely there. See the the highlights in the front right here they're definitely there and that one is on the hazelnut or no this is toasted walnut let me make sure to put that in the right spot yes this is toasted walnut and it's got the highlights in the front like you would expect from like a Raquel Welch um let's see if the other ones have it yes this one's got them right here in the front too didn't exactly feel good um Sunkissed Almond. Yep, they have them here. Sunset Almond right in the front also. So yeah, no, they definitely have that the lighter pieces in the front for sure. I think that Julie is saying is that it would take much longer. Hopefully she will come back with a better answer. Oh, okay. Style you have on. This is the Beltrest Newport, and this is in the color Milkshake Blonde. So yes, um... I mean, I could go, let me see. The, some of the ones I know, they don't have lighter colors in the front. And some of them, they do. Like if it's a unrooted one, or one where it doesn't make sense. Like this brown one doesn't have it. And that was the dark brown HL. Um, but no, I think the ones where there's blonde involved, from what I've seen, they all have it. Just pick some random one and look at it. Let me see the caramel blonde. See if that has it also. Yeah, even the caramel blonde has it. Yeah, so they definitely have the highlighted fronts for sure. I I guess it's the way they fall on some of them. Yeah, they have a lot of them where they do this. Um, try to explain it where they come down like this and other ones they have where it's like away from the face like this and you can easily style it like that where it comes this way but they have where it almost is like pinched like this so it falls in a specific manner for the style but um let me see uh mm, that one's in gray Santa Monica is straight what I'm thinking of. Beverly Hills is that one. Sandal is Newport. It's like one I'm thinking of. I'm just completely lost, lost my mind. Oh, that's the one that's in brown. Yeah, I don't have one where it would be in the kind where it's a face framing where it comes up like this. There's quite a few. So the um, Montecito being the shortest one and then it has there's santa barbara and then there is uh, beverly hills those all have this thing where it goes like this with their face so it, they fall out this way as opposed to down just want to be sure that most of you ladies would want a city collection wig in the cafe old collection color montecito yeah you want to see that one i only have that one um, Anna in uh, coolest ash brown, but if you like envision it in this color, it will also have the, the highlighted part that you're talking about. I can put that one on for you though. Sure. Do you have a shake in oat milk and Lux compared to the raw sugar? Yes, I do. I have all the colors. Yeah, so Shirley just needs to know if people can answer in the comments if, if what it is that you wanted is a city collection or a Lux collection 
in the cafe color. So if you want brown sugar sweet cream or mocha with cream, something like that, do you want it in a city collection wig or a luxe wig style? That's what she needs. That's what she needs to know. Okay. Let me see. And you know, Anna, actually in this one, this is the coolest ash brown, and it does have where there's a little bit of highlighting here. It's very faint, but it's definitely lighter than the base color. It's like a natural highlight. See, being like a personal shopper is fun. <laughs> So this one has where it tends to come up like this. This is what I was talking about, where it comes away from the hip, the face as opposed to forward. Okay. I'm going to rewatch the live you did around Christmas where you went into all the color comparisons to the city collections. Those blondes now are tugging at my heart. Oh, okay, Sharon. <laughs> That's what they're there for, for sure. Um, I could take either collection. I like the luxury cap better, says Kelly. Brown sugar sweet cream and mocha with cream in both collections. Okay. Anna says city collection for me. Deborah says city. Wish there were more brunettes, blondes, or bronze. Yes, that in-between color. Yeah. So this, this, I really love this brown too, as far as being not super dark. This one is as close to my natural color as it gets in a wig that I've seen, honestly, because I have... It's like an ash, like a very muted sort of ashy, is it blonde, is it brown sort of color. And this one kind of fits the bill because it looks so natural. Thank you, Allison. You're very welcome, Anna. I hope, I hope it was helpful. I tried. <laughs> okay, so yes. Shaken oat milk and lux compared to raw sugar rooted in the city collection. Yes. Yeah, see, I don't really feel too bad right now, so we're good. I did take Motrin beforehand, that's probably why. <laughs> okay. All right, so I am going to show, this is gonna be Santa Monica, and this is gonna be in the Raw Sugar Blonde R, so it's rooted. Let me get the shaken oat milk. So here she is. You can see that this one here is a little more ashy, sort of. They are along the same, like I said, along the same vein for sure. This one's just slightly more ashy, but it's very, very similar. Hope that's helpful. It's just, it's literally just a smidge ashier. Okay, let's see. I actually have two brown colors we created. I'll show them on Wednesday to get your opinion, says Shirley. Ooh, I'm excited about that. <laughs> Why would they discontinue two most popular colors? Yeah, see, M Margaret, I honestly, I really don't know. It. They should, I feel like if it sells well, they should um, not do that. But I'm, I'm not the owner of Beltras, so... <laughs> See, I bet I could tuck this. Now I want to. That's not too bad. Let's see. Oh, not discontinued. I don't know why. Okay, hold on. Very helpful. Okay, good, Anna. I wonder why they did not do any black colors either. Uh, I, I think, Kelly, it's because they might not sell as well. I know that, um, like, for instance, the ones that Shirley has in stock still, a lot of them are that coffee without cream and ginger, which are, like, the darkest colors from the cafe collection. Yeah, brown sugar, sweet cream, milk with cream are not discontinued. They're available in the cafe collection, just not the Lux of the city. So I, the question I think Margaret meant to ask was why didn't they carry them over or something comparable? And I don't understand that either. I think it would make sense. But I mean, they're in the Lux collection, at least I think 
like I said, the toasted walnut and the sun-kissed almond, I think, are the closest. Um, as far as the city collection goes, there, there really isn't anything. Um, I'm, like I said, the colors are sort of similar on ma uh, maple mocha or brown or whatever, but the, the not... Mm, yeah. You're very welcome, Kelly. What is the lightest blonde color in the city collection? That would be the crushed, um, uh, what's it called? Crushed almond blonde? Let me put that on. I think I asked for that one for the, whatever the long new one is, Milano, to show that one too. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. So, this is the crushed Crushed Almond R, or Crushed Almond Blonde R. This is the lightest one from the City Collection, for sure. And this is in the style Calabasas. All, this, all the cities in California. And it looks like the new, the new ones they're rolling out are from Italy. It's kind of a, kind of a jump. <laughs> like, geographically. Uh, yay, love cool brown, says Deborah. Like Maureen says, they didn't ask us. Yeah. Yes, but they are discontinuing some if the most popular, they are some of the most popular styles also, says Margaret. Yeah. Oh, you love the style on me? Thank you, Anne. Okay, here's the correct answer. We can do city collection. We can do the city collection in the same time frame. However, the cafe colors would not be exactly like they used to be color would be slightly different. However, we would have a sample before we have a final decision. Lux collection and cafe colors, not a problem. Okay, so there we go. I wonder why the colors would be slightly different. I wonder if it has to do with some sort of, like I said, I feel like the city collections, these ones right here, they feel different than the cafe collections. So I bet there's something to do with the processing like how they make them is why they'll be just slightly off so it'll be similar but i wonder how they mean different whether warmer or cooler or darker or lighter yes hi debbie looking for a right-sided part can be accomplished with most uh yeah these are left-sided linda i mean you could force it that's true uh, you just have the wefting showing on that side uh, if you go for something with a mono top, however, you can part it wherever you want. Yep, from the Lux collection, like Marlene's saying, exactly. It has to do with how the factory is set up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. So here is this one. I know that people liked this one a lot. I like this color. I think it's pretty. It's very Barbie summer ready, for sure. Okay. Good, that will we have a sample before. Right, Anna? I'm excited to see those. Every time Shirley whips out her samples from like Trezalore or what was it? Um, Envy, I was like, oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> so I'd, I'd love to see it from Beltrust too. Can I see it in a medium brown? Dorothy, I only have it in this color. I only have one of each one. Basically, I only have Newport, which comes in two, but I have only it in, in this. I can show you the other colors and then you can like eyeball it. So I've got um, dark brown HL, uh, mocha maple brown, and I've got the coolest ash brown. So like for instance, uh, this one's, I wouldn't call this a medium brown, but I would say it's like a light one, but you can imagine it in this one. So there's that, because the other ones are all dark brown. They didn't really come, you know what? They didn't come out with a medium brown. Now that I'm saying that, they have a light brown which borders on being dark blonde, and then they have two dark browns. They don't have a medium brown. Yeah, they, Dorothy, they don't have one. I am wearing Calabasas, Deborah. If you can offer the special order colors in the Lux collection for the same price as you usually do with your usual 30% off, I would definitely jump on them if one was mocha with cream, says Kelly. Do you have any City Collection wigs in the Oyster Gray? Yes, I do. I can show that one. Right now, the factory that makes the city collection is booked until the end of the year, so she would have to have one of the other factories make them, and they are not set up the same. 
I see. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Yes, Calabasas. Love the style one you're wearing. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Shirley and Allison, you both look great. Or good in warm colors, cool colors, long style, short colors, straight <laughs> styles, early styles. You're chameleons. Yeah, Sharon, people, I that's what I started doing was joking because people are like, I can't believe you can wear the only thing I really don't look good in, in my opinion, is a straight up black. I don't feel like I can easily get away with that. I feel it's difficult if it was warm in any sort of capacity. Um, I could definitely wear it, but as far as it being straight black, like, um, like a one, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I have Santa Barbara in the oyster gray. And this is the one from the city collection. So it does not have the darker nape. You can see right here, there's no dark nape, especially if you don't want that. The dark nape comes on the oyster, which is just straight oyster. This is oyster gray. Um, in the Luxe collection, it has where it has the dark nape. So here is the oyster gray, and I really love this color and the style. It's super pretty. Um, Beltrash should have offered more grays, at least one rooted gray. Yeah, that's like their chrome sort of situation. My guess is they might offer one if people like it enough, especially if it sells really well. They'll probably add more colors would be my guess. It would not make sense if they didn't, you know. Trezalore offers rooted gray colors. You may want to take a look. I love oyster gray. Yes, Trezalore does, for sure. They have quite a few that are very pretty as far as being rooted and dimensional, like the three-tone gray. And then the one where it's, it's like a two-tone gray. So here is this one. This one's a pretty style. Anna, if you're still on, this is another style I was talking about where it goes like this away from the face. This is just a little bit longer than Montecito. As you can see, Montecito ended about right here. And then this is the Santa Barbara, and it's just slightly longer, and it just allows for where it comes away from the face like this. Like, that's what I was trying to say. It's very face framing. And it kind of goes like this as opposed to falling forward. Like, some of them have been like this. This one isn't like that. Or you can make it so it's not. Uh, you're welcome, Phelan. What color was the Calabasas and Blonde you just had on? That was the Crushed Almond R. Yes, you like that? Okay, Anna. Yeah, no, I figured I tried. I've seen your pictures and stuff around quite a bit, and I was like, hmm. A lot of the ones that you wear tend to go like this, so I was thinking, hmm. All right, let's see. All right, all right, let's go with requests. If anyone has any requests, I can even throw this back on if you wanna see the Muse collection again from Renee of Paris since that's where we started. <laughs> Otherwise, I can go ahead and uh, call it a night, but if anyone wants to see anything, go ahead and type it out. I'm gonna try and slightly clean this up because they're kind of everywhere. If I need to get one back out, that it won't bother me. So go ahead and ask for whatever you would like. Oh, thank you, Margaret. It's a great live. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Deborah. Yeah, if anyone has a request, you know, if anyone wants to see the Muse collection, because there's not too many of them, I can easily go through and do them all again if you want. Thank you, Corey. Easily bust through those, there's really not that many.
people just want me to start doing the muse then? Great job as always, Allison. Thank you. Have a great night, ladies. You're welcome, Marlene. Have a good night. You're welcome, Gloria. All right, guys. So if that is the end and no one wants to see anything else, then I will call it a night. Otherwise, thanks so much, Allison. Feel better? Oh, thank you, Anna. All right, guys. I guess we will call it a night. You're very welcome. Uh, there was a shoulder length I'm uh, there was a shoulder length uh, in Muse that you're missing oh okay Natalia uh, yeah, yeah Natalia that would probably be this one the Lux Sleek I can go ahead and put that one on everyone loved it in the Lunar Haze so here is the Lux Sleek this one's the shoulder up to here and it's in Lunar Haze. Everyone really liked that one. It has a lace part, uh, lace front, left-sided lace part, open wefted, extended velvet nape, uh, velvet ears that are moldable, and pull-type adjusters. And I have to say, this is, this is a gorgeous style. Gorgeous colors, gorgeous style, like... I, I can't get it. I can't get enough of the Muse collection to be completely honest. Fun wig party. Thank you, Allison. Good night. Good night, Julia. Thank you. Thanks so much, Allison. You did a fabulous job as usual. Have a great night. Thank you so much, Kelly. Have a good night too. Thank you, Luann. Thank you, Colleen. Yep. Here you go, Natalia. Thank you, Allison. Have a good week. Thank you, Laura. Hi, Dominica. Er, er, oh, thank you, Dominica. Great wig party. Oh, hello, Heidi. <laughs> Yes, so here we go. Hopefully that's what you wanted to see. Okay, good. You love her, Natalia? Do I do I have low density? Yeah, I would say there's a little, like I said, there's a little bit of permatease through here. Not very much, though. It's literally just for the style. And down here, you can see it's definitely on... The lower density size it's really just the style up here but if you press on it you can see like that's my head so it's definitely not like super high density for sure thank you tanya you rock sweetheart great job oh thank you so much tanya uh carolyn allure waves do you have that one i can see thank you yes absolutely beautiful wig party thank you debbie Yeah, I will show it in one of my favorites of tonight, which is the Allure Waves, and this is in the color Icy Petal, so very pretty. So this is a clothes wefted one, as you can see, all clothes, so you don't have to worry about hairs coming back and poking you. It has lace front, center part, velvet ear tabs that are moldable, the adjuster straps are hidden in here, it's Velcro adjusters, and this is an extended velvet nape. An icy petal. Yeah, I'll give you a close up because I did that earlier. But so you can see where it's got, it's almost like a kind of like purpley, pinky sort of color that's platinum blonde mixed through it. And then when you come back here and you're at a distance, it looks like a pink platinum color. And it's just, it's really quite beautiful. You can see very like. This style is gorgeous. You're very welcome, Carolyn. Yeah, see, this is, I, I mean, you really can't do any better than this. This is so pretty. And yeah, I have it in one other color that I can show you. It does have the same color placement as like the kind of stripiness to it as this one does. And I know it's, you either like it or you don't, but it comes in other colors too if you don't like the pink one. All right, ladies. Seriously gorgeous, right, Sharon? Like, this is so pretty. Like I said, I feel like a fairy. <laughs> like, here we go. It's like one of Shirley's, the pretty sparkly headbands. Like, I feel like it goes perfect with it. It's 
literally like like a crown go tiara prettiest wig tonight keep that baby pink is a keeper right rita this is so pretty like i i can't get over it <laughs> all right guys so if there's anything else i will go ahead and call it a night and i will see you next week i know that i will have some hair you wear stuff like from hairdo and a couple of raquel walsh to show I'll probably have other stuff as well, but we'll see. All right, so I've loved having you here with me tonight, and I will see you next weekend, and I hope I don't get sick again because it's I can't take it. This has been like back to back, and I could I just want it to stop. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time, and I love hanging out with you guys. So have a good night. Thanks for chasing away the Sunday scaries tonight. <laughs> Thanks for the fun. You're very welcome, Sharon. All right, good night, everybody. You're very welcome, Tanya. Oh, I look like a, pr a princess. Thank you, Debbie. All right, good night, everybody. I will see you next weekend, and I'll see you on Facebook. <laughs>